again. Tucker trying to get cute and again getting the worst of it and still mugging with Tyson, which brings the crowd alive. Well, when you do that, and I don't know the reason is frustration because of what Tucker's doing. He's kind of playing up. Those are the antics there. Sometimes work. Pertandingan McTesion versus Tony Tucker. Pertandingan McTesion versus Tony Tucker pada tanggal 1 Agustus tahun 1987, yaitu di Las Vegas Hilton di Nevada Amerika Serikat. Di mana pertandingan ini menjadi pertandingan untuk menentukan raja kelas berat pada saat itu. Setelah pada tahun 1986. HBO dan Don King Production berupaya menciptakan juara tak terbantahkan di divisi kelas berat Yaitu dengan mengumpulkan tiga sebuk juara untuk menjadi juara kelas berat tak terbantahkan Di mana pada saat itu seorang petinju akan menjadi juara tak terbantahkan dengan memiliki sebuk gelar kelas berat WBA, WBC, dan IBF Dan pada saat pertandingan ini digelar, Mike Tyson telah memegang sebuk juara kelas berat WBA dan WBC Sementara Tony Tucker memiliki sebuah kelas berat IBE. Dan karena pertarungan ini merupakan sebuah pertarungan untuk menentukan status raja kelas berat pada saat itu. Mike Tyson dan Tony Tucker pun bermain hati-hati selama jalannya pertandingan ini. Mike Tyson yang menjadi kelas berat tak terkalahkan dalam 30 pertandingannya. Yang terkenal ganas dan agresif. Hingga membuat dirinya ditakuti para lawan-lawannya ketika berada di atas ring tinju. Namun kali ini McTesson mendapat lawan terberat di awal karir tinju profesionalnya. Mengingat pertarungan-pertarungan McTesson sebelumnya yang hanya mendapat sedikit perlawanan dari para lawan-lawannya. Di ronde awal pada pertandingan ini, McTesson dengan ciri khasnya yang selalu tampil agresif dengan langsung memberi tekanan kepada lawan-lawannya. Sejak belronde pertama dibunyikan, harus mendapat perlawanan yang kuat dari seorang Tony Tucker yang menahan keburutan McTesson di ronde-ronde awal pada pertandingan ini yang mengejutkan McTesson dan banyak orang pada saat itu. Mengingat Tony Tucker adalah seorang underdog dengan perbandingan 10 banding 1. Bahkan Tony Tucker benar-benar memenangkan ronde pertama dan ronde ketiga yaitu dengan unggul pada kartu skor atas McTesson. Namun setelah berlaronde ke-12 dibunyikan, tanda pertarungan telah usai. Mike Tyson dinobatkan sebagai pemenang pada pertandingan ini. Tucker 
and get him out of there. I think Tuck, on the other hand, is fighting a superb job. He's doing a superb job. That was a right hand by Tyson. You get the going to Ray that they think this fight is winnable. Time. Did you see that? Time, time, time. Now, that was an interesting scenario. Tucker was trying to get his handlers and seconds out of the ring. The bell had rung. They were so excited about the prospect of possibly not to tie his man up, which I think is a good move because it doesn't allow Tyson to punch. But they actually instead they wanted to push Tyson off and go at him by pushing a man off. Right hand by Tyson. And there was a big right hand. Tucker says, no, no, I'm not hurt. I've always found that to mean I'm hurt. And he took another right hand, got cute, and paid the price. I think he's watched my fight before. Yeah, I think he has too. I think his timing is not as good as yours. does allow him to work in. But there was a rumor about Tyson, or rather Tucker's right hand, that he had injured his right hand, and that's why he backed off training for the last few days. That was three consecutive left hooks thrown by Tony Tucker. You don't see that from a big man. Not in a heavyweight. They don't throw those kind of punches. Once again, Tucker trying to get cute, and again getting the worst of it, and still mugging with Tyson, which brings the crowd alive. Well, when you do that, and I know from experience because I invented it, you got to be very careful because you always, you're so, 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 you're so vulnerable for a counterpunch. Well, in a fight of this intensity, this magnitude, when you're fighting, you really don't feel it because those drilling is going, and you don't feel the pain. He did throw a right uppercut there, which missed. His knee seemed to buckle just a full second. The right hand up on the top of the head. Left jab of Mike Tyson. Now it appears the instinct for self. He needs to throw a little short, that short jab, then step. Like throw a jab, then step in. Get close. Now come. There was. That's what you have to do. This jab will get him closer to the taller man, Tucker, and then he can throw his punches. Once again, bro, you see what's happening here. Then he gets in. Now he's not following time. Now he's just out again. The jab once again is effective. And the reason there's frustration is because of what something's doing. He's tying his man up. Those are the antics there. Sometimes work. You get the what you do, you reverse the crowd's uh, approval. The last one around. I mean just check out Tony Tucker. He's a man right, of confidence. Right, come on, this box for a bit. Tony, quick grab it. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Don't have the experience to deal with Mike Tyson. I say, it'd probably be a blowout. But he said, so what with these so-called experts? I'm going to show you. And this is what he did tonight. And he has. Even if he loses the fight, he's probably made more friends than he has in the 34 wins that he's had. crowd getting a little tired of that. Tucker seems to be fighting the kind of fight that he thinks he's winning. There was a big left hand. Tucker says, no, 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 no. I'm all right. I'm all right. Tyson finishing with a flourish. So is Tucker. Great finish. It's over. Well, Tony Tucker talked the talk and walked. And he was a better fighter than most of us knew that he was. Decision of the judges. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Phil Newman scores 118. 113.
And Judge Bill Graham scores 116, 112 for the winner by unanimous decision and undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. So Mike Tyson, not surprisingly, the unanimous decision winner over Tony Tucker.